Hey, it's Bridget. Hi. Hey, welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, we're going to have a conversation with David Bowie in the afterlife. Now, you know David Bowie has a playlist. Well, maybe you don't. Do you not know that? There's playlists. Check out the playlist. David Bowie has one of them because we like to talk with him because he's fascinating. He is a very transcendent star-like spirit from the afterlife. So if you are a star seed, if you like galactic stuff, if you are just curious about the cosmos, David Bowie is your spirit to communicate with and connect with. And also if you just happen to like cool creative types, David Bowie. All right, so let's get started today. I have a topic. I would like to speak with David Bowie about our eyes. Yes, our eyes, not the third eye, which is a chakra, which is an energy center of the body, which is the clairvoyant channel. That's how I see psychically psychic sight clairvoyance. And it's associated with a place called the third eye chakra. I'm not talking about that eye specifically. I'm talking about our human eyes, as in our eyes being the window to our soul. So let's have a conversation with David Bowie regarding our eyes and what we see. All right, so can you come on in? Oh, hi, yes, okay, so come on in, love. That's what I feel. All right. Hi, yes, nice to see you, good to be seen. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Very galactic. You guys, he, it's, it's, it's fascinating. When I see the imagery of a spirit, they show up in different ways. Sometimes they show up in their human attire, in clothing um, or costume. And that is the case with Mr. Bowie today. He looks rather almost historic, kind of like, um, the 13 original colonies, kind of a New England kind of a vibe, the birth of America kind of vibe going on. Um, he feels like he has kind of period clothing on from history and um, the colors and the richness. And it looks like a kind of a white fluffy collar kind of at the neck that could be a woman's collar almost. It kind of comes up and out like you'd see in like Elizabethan times, maybe like with the collar up tight by the neck and the coat. And then it kind of comes down. There's like this vest-like overlay. And the vest-like overlay is kind of a, a pinstripe of what looks like a velvety green and a rich velvet burgundy. And then the arms are just brown, like a leathery suede brown. Um, and then they kind of come to the, the cuffs here, a little bit of a poof here um, at the sleeve. Um, and that is what I see. Very earth-toned, very earth-toned, grounded. He says, I thought, I thought it would be appropriate to bring in the textiles, the textures, the, the energy of earth to really solidify what we're going to be talking about our topic today. Thank you for that because we do need to ground the energy because he obviously recognizes, Mr. Bowie obviously recognizes that his starry energy, his vibe, for some of you who are mega fans in the human life or just loved his music and are new to whole spirituality and intuition and how channeling and psychic connection and stuff, it, this may be very strange to you to feel, and you won't understand, you can only articulate it by feeling, really it's hard intuition, but you feel his energy vibe and you're like kind of confused by it because he's so like starry and dreamy and just kind of like, hey, everything's good. I just meditated for five hours and I'm feeling awesome kind of vibe, right? Like blissed, like that. And so the fact that he, Describing these colors, these rich, thick colors and the textures of the colors and the, the, the deep green, that olivey green and, the, and the, the rich burgundy really grounds the energy to help you interpret for your own self. Because when we're channeling here, it's not just Bridget's talking to you and sharing so much valuable information. 
great quality content in this channeling stuff, but it's about you and the experience that you have. That is what Above Life Channel is about. You having an experience, experiential learning. If you're not into that and you want somebody to do everything for you, then this might not be your channel, my love. You might want to move along. Now let's focus on our guest at hand. I am sassy today. He says, the star energy, and he responds to it as the galactic energy can do that to you. So by galactic energy, we don't mean extraterrestrials are going to come in, take you away in the middle of the night, or we don't mean that you are going to be, um, or that there is, it's none of the sci-fi stuff that, that you've been bombarded with an imagery from the past or in maybe dream state or nightmare state even for you. It's not that sensationalized. It's really not that dramatic. It's quite natural, very organic, and it's not spooky, creepy. You got to be more afraid of each other than you do of that. Let's just be clear. So he uses the term galactic, and so I will honor that and use the same term. How about that? If you're interested in learning more about star energy or my connection to understanding, because I work with a lot of different energy types. I work in private session. I work with people who, who experience and, and, and are intuitive and psychic and healers at lots of different levels of vibration and galactic folks are one piece of um, the clients that I work with. So it's not new to me at all. So you can check out Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube if you're interested in learning a little bit more about some of that stuff. So galactic energy. I want to know about the eyes. Can you talk to us about the eyes? So our eyes are the windows to our soul. And I've been told that very specifically by my healing team. I know it's like an author, a beautiful author, some kind of poetry or prose has that has, it's not new. That's not new. The eyes are the window to the soul. But I've heard that by my healing team a couple of times. So I'm like, let's talk to somebody. And I even said in one of my other videos, I need to talk to David Bowie about that. So here we are. So can you talk to us about that? Yes, he says, yes. The star is in the eyes. This is where the galactic connection comes in, Bridget. This is where it comes in. I know that, you know that. Let's share that with our viewers. So let's take a breath in, get in your physical human body. That's the best way to experience life, my friends, is not to avoid or be afraid of energy. Be in your human body. Don't process externally, process in the present moment as information comes in. Don't internalize it, don't externalize it. Have it in this in-between safe space and just breathe. You can feel the energy. I instantly, my body heats up. That's what happens when I get downloads of information and download what that means is I'm clairsentiently feeling, sensing um, the information David Bowie is sharing with us. And I'm also, also getting uh, like cognitive pieces of information. So what would maybe be considered claircognizance, what I consider intuition, just uh, like a big file box worth of information. And then I will recount that or bring that out and translate it in a way that just makes sense to me. So that's how this goes. All right. It won't necessarily be verbatim. Yes. He says, yes. So I literally see an image of David Bowie in his beautiful face with very, um, in place of his star, in place of his eyes are stars. So you can imagine that for yourself. And imagine looking into those two eyes, that pair of eyes as star energy. And look right into the star, the center of the star, like white stars, like a piece of paper, white, crisp white star energy. And just look at two stars, kind of focus your eyes. And then soften your eyes just a wee bit. Feel a lot of energy in the throat chakra, which is common for me as I'm channeling because I can, that's where I need to articulate the information. So the information comes in, warms up. I can feel my throat. Comes about the chest level to feel clairsentience. It's called empathic energy. Breathe in. For you, viewer, feel it out here, outside your body, just outside your body access the information that's most appropriate for you as you're watching, listening, feeling the information from David Boy about the stars in your eyes. Look at the stars in your eyes. Okay, I'm just going to close my eyes or soften rather, soften my eyes. Ooh, okay, my solar plexus is activated, which is my tummy, your belly. Solar plexus is the term for a chakra. It's your spirit chakra, the sun chakra, your intuition, gut feeling activated. I feel that. Thank you. I'm going to put my hand right there just to honor that. 
the windows to the, the window to the soul to to a pair of eyes connected to the soul it's three three is sacred for those of you who are into numerology three three for me when i see this and receive it it is a triangle it is the truth this is true that's what it means when i'm in session with you i'll tell you oh i see a triangle it means you're this is very true for you or oh my gosh this is a big truth and three ascended mastery we're going to learn something you are going to learn something receive that information to you here again not internalize it keep it here not external keep it here in between in between soften the eyes touching the belly solar plexus three energy of three the vibrational construct of what you consider to be your soul is multidimensional and multifaceted, much more like an emerald or a ruby cut to sheer perfection. The richness of the color is what speaks to who you are or what you are. You are beyond an entity, beyond a possession or material form. You are much more than that. You are deeper than that. You are pure universe and pure star light. The light of God that you consider your God or your source, the creator of all things. This energy of light is what is mixed in with what we consider we. He's pointing, acknowledging himself, pointing to his alignment or affiliation with the star energy. Well, we consider the oneness, the great one, the great one, not a person. This is not humanizing or personifying with characteristics of human, but the eyes to the soul or the window to the soul, the eyes as the window to the soul is not, does not provide enough depth to fully articulate the vibrational essence of what this means. It means the resonance of, your human experience taking in and mixing, mixing your human experience in with the alchemy inside of you and your spirit, and then pulling those pieces together, what you see and experience in your human eyes with your human expression, taken in in your human form, mixes in with the gut, with the belly and the spirit of you, and it mixes together and it creates this, this, this movement and this incredible plasma-like energy that is like catalyzing. It's like liquid light and alchemy, and it is you. This is the power of what your purpose is that you speak of and you're constantly looking for your purpose. This, you see, your eyes are taking in all of the information from the human experience and it comes down into that belly and it mixes with the purpose, the life energy of the one, the great oneness, the great one. The great whole one isn't even accurate really it's like this oneness is the great full whole the completion yet it's not a finished product it's a movement and it literally you guys i see it like kind of like a marbleized um sphere and it's it's warm but it's not too hot to touch and it kind of flows on its own and it's moving around and it's just marbleized and it's like the size of almost like a bowling ball kind of vibe, but it's not heavy, but it's substantial. And it's this, this desire that you have, this, this ability to create this lack of understanding from a human mind. Like he's like showing me the human mind, the brain cannot get this, the brain doesn't. Just, just, just let the brain use the imagination, tap on the colors, tap on the orange, the orange marbling of this light and alchemy and just breathe it, hold this, just hold this. You can hold it like by putting your hands under it or beside it and letting it kind of have this buffer of energy space where it can kind of spin, not fast, move, orbit, rotate, just gently move, okay? The movement is key because it suggests the passage of time and the aliveness of your ideas, your concepts the dreams, goals, and visions you have for yourself that do, yes, 
get fuel from the brain, from the mind. The human mind and the imagination do help you out, yet it's the eyes that will get you into the deepest connection of yourself. It will link the particle of your human experience, your humanness with your peace of the universe, your soul, your soul. So the, what does this have to do then? Okay, breathe this first. So let's just acknowledge this is a lot of energy work, okay? Thank you, Mr. David Bowie, a lot of energy work. Let's just breathe this for a second. I mean, this is not a pocket-sized kind of, wow, this is interesting. Okay, I can just go about my day now and answer that phone call and reply to that email. This is not that kind of thing, right? Let's just <laughs> be with this, okay? For just a minute. Let's let it kind of move. Rotate. Articulate. Let it be alive for you. There's nothing you have to do. Just be with this. Energy. I like it, it feels really creative. Does it feel creative to you? It might, it might be activating your sacral chakra, which is a creativity center in the fire element. It could be, especially with that catalyzing light energy that I saw, I saw a lot of that. I'm guessing that's part of the star energy working with the fire element. Is that accurate? Can we switch to that? Yes, okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna let it kind of go into almost this invisible kind of water-like state and let it be kind of come one and spread out and expand and breathe in and exhaling out that's how you transmute energy my dears that is how it works mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's how it works simple very simple don't make it hard don't make it complex don't make your brain ask so many questions mm. just enjoy the experience all right so let's talk about the star energy that star alchemy that's quite interesting to me can you share more about the star energy? So some people, some humans love the stars, the night sky. I have some friends that are just, I have one friend in particular that I'm thinking of that, oh my gosh, loves the night sky. Super obsessed with the stars. And so what, for those, those, those people who really are just find the night so mystic and magical and that star energy piece, that, that beauty of that, can you talk to us about the star energy and incorporating that and, and, and how to work with that in our human lives, in our human context? And do we have to be part of a star lineage? So like, do I have to be an Arcturian? Or do I have to be someone from Cirrus? Or do I have to be somebody from Boots? Or do I have to be somebody from Pleiadian, a Pleiadian and know my energy origins? We all know that I already know the answer to that, but I'm just asking him so that he can explain it, so that you guys can understand without me just telling you everything that I know already. So besides we're channeling, so I need to share you know, your expression. So go ahead. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so funny today, I think. It's like theatrical, Bridget. You have to, you must have a theatrical flair. It cannot be boring. He's like, kind of like, that's what I love about you. I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, David. So sweet. Talk to us about the energy of the stars. Talk to us about that alchemy into human life. Talk to us about the expression of that. Talk to us. You do not have to have a particular affiliation with the star lineage. You don't have to, as in your, in your words, he says, you don't have to have history in the stars or on other planets. You don't have to have awareness, memories of past life, future life, whatever life you would align or consider some kind of concrete piece like, hey, I have ownership in this. It's not like purchasing stock options. It's not like that. And so you don't have to have a particular affiliation or line up with a particular color. Oh, yes. Okay, so, so star energies, if you have a particular history, have kind of a color or a tonal tonal vibration or frequency about them from my experience correct very much he says very much a vibrational frequency a tonal expression yes yes and so it translates what he's showing me is it translates into color so it could be a gold a silver uh platinum um, which is a different color opalescent pearlized or like a light pink or a hot fuchsia color or a deep magenta or a rich violet or it can have lots of different hues and color representations. And color is an easy way through the eyes, right? An easy way to, to 
acknowledge or recognize for you your own symbol or communication connection with your star support, your star helpers. So you can have star guides without having a particular identify cultural alignment to that civilization. So for example, I have a very strong Irish connection, like so Celtic in spiritual terms and contexts and past life affiliations and that Celtic shamanism and druidity and all that, I have that. In human life, I don't have that. My lineage isn't that. In my human life, ancestry, don't have that. But in spiritual kind, I have that. So, for and, and their color, Celts, when you think of Ireland, what color do you think of? That's right, blue. No, I mean, green, of course, right? <laughs> green. So just like that, star energies have affiliations that are translated into color. More, more so though, however, if you are a musician or sensitive to sounds or tones like a singing bowl or chimes or just sound in general, sensitive to it, chances are you have very strong star energy within you. And your, to know your affiliation or your home planet or your home place, by the way, you have multiple, just like if you have multiple lifetimes or you believe in reincarnation, which you probably do if you're watching me. Yeah, probably do. And you know that I like, I haven't just been in Ireland. I've been in other countries and other parts of the world than the U S and many, many places in multiple lifetimes. Right? So I have multiple spiritual affinities toward different cultures and parts of the world, right? That don't even make sense to me when you look at me as the whitest white person in the history of the world. And I'm not saying that with pride. Let me just say, I'm just saying it's hello obvious, look at me. Um, to know that I have other really deep affinities and love for other specific parts of the world and countries, specific countries. I look nothing like the people there. And yet I love them so much. And so same is for you with the star energies. So the frequency or vibration of music or tones, sound is the most closest to being able to identify as a symbol or metaphor with a star planet or a star history or lineage. But Color is like the second best thing because color is the way that we translate it into our human understandings. That's what David Bowie is saying that totally aligns with what I know of star energies, but he has said it way better than what I've said in the past. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense there. So you can have a star spirit guide, a spirit guide that's a star. I have one, her name's Aria, and I work with her closely at times um, when I need to do um, high technology frequency healing work or clearing work for myself, usually when I'm up leveling or I got some new information that I not don't consciously know, but I feel it, stuff's up, stuff's going on, stuff's moving and is shaking, and I need to work on my stuff so that I can work with you. So I will have Aria come in and she will um, channel or translate or talk to me in my human mind about this, whatever this is, that the topic or the, the situation, et cetera, the new energies. And so you can have star guides that support you. Like one common one is Ashtar Command. Some of you may know Ashtar Command. Shows up a bit masculine. Um, to me, very androgynous though. Let's just be real clear. All the star energies that I see when they try to personify themselves or take a human form, they look super androgynous, which I'm totally fine with that. I'm like, hey, easy. Yeah, okay. So no, so no worry about pronouns there. Um, but feels a little more masculine. I would say he, Ashtar Command. Um, if I had to pick a little more of that, maybe then whatever. Um, and... Also Metatron, Archangel Metatron, news flash if you like Archangels and you're super digging on Metatron, guess what? You like star energy and you don't even know it, maybe. So you are galactic girl or boy or them, they, there. That's what you are if you like Metatron. You know, might not consciously know that, but that's true. I am really theatrical. He's saying, it's me. 
It's, it's me. He must have smoked a lot because he is like, I can see him smoking and it's very strange. He, it looks like he quit though later, but I can see him just, sm he smells like smoke. He looks like he's like smoking imagery of him in a human form and he's very theatrical. His hair is all spiky and sticking up all over. So he's like, that's why. He's like, Bridget, you are feeding off my energy. It makes sense. It should show up this way. Thank you. Thanks for that uh, mental approval that I just got. Hmm. So talk to us about understanding how can we use this energy? I did mention the higher um, technology for healing is kind of what the galactic vibes are. So the star energy, the stars in our eyes, right? The star energies, how can we use that in our human form? Can you explain that in a way that just anybody, just new to intuition or new to spirituality? Of course, we probably lost most of those folks right by now, let's be honest, because those viewers are gonna be like, this is weird stuff, I'm not gonna watch. So if you've made it this far, cool, you probably don't even need this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but how can we use this energy? Come on, share it with us. Some, give us some tips. Give us some info. So now I see this really purple hue, this really purple vibe, which is kind of like a Ascended Master Saint Germain, which he does often show up very green to me, but lately he's been so purple. But I think it's because Saint Germain works with what we consider the violet flame, which is a really um, potent clearing tool, which is like fire in human context, our version of fire, and spiritual galactic star energy universe, universal consciousness. So galactic star energy, that's universal consciousness. That's a collective consciousness that is beyond just our limited human only expression. So these two things that come together, the violet flame really represents both. So that's an example, all right? And so Saint Germain can help you translate maybe a human experience that you're working on that is something kind of difficult. Maybe it's a, maybe you're feeling hard headed. Maybe you're feeling a lot of resistance and you're really stubborn about something, but you know, you gotta let it go because it's really not helping you at this point. Like it's something you just have to let go of and you just can't because you're so stubborn and that's okay because strong-willed, ugh, those people, oh, those are my people. You are my people, we are one because that's loyalty, that's devotion. But sometimes, you know, what is that saying? You can't cut off your nose to spite your face. Let's not do that. So maybe you need to let go of some of that resistance a little. At least loosen it up or settle it down a bit. Settle it down a bit. Use the violet flame. Ask Saint Germain to come in. Work with this beautiful purple energy. And Saint Germain is an ascended master that you could find in any old card deck and any old kind of teachings about ascended mastery. And yet know that you and I know he has a galactic affiliation, a universal connection. Okay, so when I say galactic, again, I want to be really clear. It's not just one planetary alignment, one source that's home for you or one of your lifetimes as a star being. It's not just that, that's not what I mean. I mean this universal consciousness that transcends a human experience or expression that includes all of the advanced wisdom and the technologies that are available in the universes. Universe says more than one because we don't really know in our human mind or bodies what all is available to us. So let's tap that and use that violet flame to help transmute some of the energies for resistance or stubbornness or being too set in your ways or afraid of change or crabby or super opinionated and you just know that about yourself or even judgmental, very judgmental. Even if it's not just towards yourself, you're aiming that critical, critical eye, but you're directing it at other people. You're just kind of lashing out a little bit. It's, it's, hey, we all get to that point. We all get there. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just use the violet flame. Ask St. Germain to step in, clean up some of that crap and center you again. Bringing, now right away I feel David literally bringing all of our energy right to our solar plexus, to our stomach, to that beautiful sun chakra energetically. I'm hearing a lot of toning in my ear. If you hear a lot of buzzing or humming in your ears, a lot of people are like, oh, is that an angel? No, um, not necessarily. It could be a spirit guide, yes, but what it is is it's a frequency adjustment or change. So something is happening 
at an energetic level that is either coming in or going out that you are noticing. It's a vibrational shift. So I'm feeling some of that on my left side, which makes sense because I've had David kind of energetically set here for us in our conversation today. So that makes sense. So I'm feeling that as I'm focusing on our bellies, our solar plexus, our spirit, right at your belly button, just touch that spot there and let the energy kind of simmer or settle in and breathing in. And exhaling out. So you can utilize any of the spirit guides we've mentioned. Saint Germain, that tool of the violet flame. Go ahead and look that up. Google it up and learn some stuff about it if you're interested. Metatron, Archangel Metatron. Oh yeah, Archangels have a lot of high galactic frequencies. I love that. They're super similar to galactic energies and star energies. And no need to be afraid of that energy. It's just a different type of guide. That's all it is, is a different type of spirit guide from a different different place. That's it. Easy. It's not that it's not that complicated. Don't make it don't make it weird, okay? Don't make it weird. Don't don't make it weird. And of course, we have Ashtar command as well. There are some other um, archangel energies that are a bit, to me, affiliated with the galactic energy or the universal consciousness energy, which would be Archangel Raziel, just a little bit more of an educational Arcturian type, Archangel Raziel. Okay, so I have to add this into the last video. I was reviewing the different spirit guides that have a galactic vibration about them for you and then I got interrupted on my phone. So there's a lot of information here in this particular video. Connection with David Bowie sharing about the eyes as the window to the soul. And so much additional information about galactic and star energy that might go way over some of your head. It might not be the th this thing for everyone, but I like to make sure that I cover a lot of ground here at Above Life Channel and give you different experiences or opportunities energetically to feel and experience and learn for yourself in the human body. Okay, you don't just need to be spoon fed information or somebody to tell you what the future is going to be because you are way more, you're here for way more than that. You're far more interesting than that. You have way more capacity than that. And I want you to develop your intuition and love your sensitivities to the maximum capacity because you have so much, so much potential here. And you need to harness the understanding of energy and understand what channeling really is, what intuition really is, so that you can live your life more fully and more completely. And then you'll be happier. You'll just be a happier person because your spirit and your humanness will be working together and you'll feel good and you deserve that. So here on Above Life Channel, thank you so much, David. David Bowie for our channeling session this week. You know that the purpose is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope. And this is your life after all. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.